So you're looking for a budget microphone option that looks somewhat professional, but also packs quite a punch and has just about every feature that a potential gamer or streamer may want then you stumbled upon the right video because today I am showing you the Toner TC310, which is in basically all in one microphone, condenser microphone. Honestly, I'm quite excited to get into this microphone. So without further ado, let's look at what the potential of what this condenser microphone can do. And most importantly, what it sounds like for your 30 bucks that you're gonna pay for this microphone. Let's take a look. Here we are on the toner website, 30 bucks. And this mic, it's a nice image there, super high res and high quality. And for what it's worth, I've seen mics this price that pretty much beat a lot of the mics that are more expensive. All right, so big 14 millimeter diaphragm. This $30 microphone is 24 bits, so expect to get some clean high fidelity audio out of this latest noise reduction technology okay so has natural noise reduction built into it we're going to see how that mitigates some of this hvac and pc fan noise here in my room you have of course six color options here as well as dynamic mix color gradient dynamic solid color gradient and spectrum breathing so that's about six seven eight nine options for your rgb delight right so uh if you're an rgb head out there then this is for you if you hate rgb click on the video and go through your iphone out the window what and all you have to do is press the button on the front which is your rgb button touch sensitive and you can switch through these rgb modes and you can hold the rgb button for a few seconds and it turns it off awesome sauce you can see at the bottom you have an additional thing you can adjust the brightness, which is sweet because sometimes if it's too bright, your camera blows out the color because the exposure kind of changes and your light ends up looking white no matter what color you have. The top rotational knob on the mic is for controlling your mic volume up and down. Sweet beans. You have a touch sensitive mute button on top, which is awesome. Like I said, it's bringing the best of I guess multiple worlds. You see a lot of mics with some of these things, but not all of these things. The cool thing I'm seeing about this is that it's keeping the controls as part of the body and not having knobs for all my gamers out there and techies who do not like knobs on your microphones. This mitigates that ugly little lump and notch you have on your device. I'm liking the hardware build. Yep, looking good. Plug and play, PC, laptop, Mac. PS4, PS5, no Xbox. So again, for all my Xbox gamers out there looking to use this mic for streaming, click off the video right now, go through your iPhone out the window too, what? And it is compatible with the 5 8 inch tread, 5 8 screw, so that's the big boy. So make sure you have that or just get an adapter for it. This is the box, Techies and Gamers. Nothing spectacular about their branding, but sometimes the branding is not such a big thing when it comes ship like this but sometimes what you get in the contents is the big difference right so i've seen a lot of things come in boxes like this that look and work fantastic i presume this is probably an all-in-one situation going on here you get your instructions we're not going to look at that because i've done a thousand reviews of mics just search google and youtube to see if how you work a mic and how you plug it in all right so let's throw that out the way right now and we're just going to pull this guy out the box. Pull it out the box, I said. And that's all you get in the box besides your USB-C to USB-A cable. It comes as an all-in-one. My friends out there in YouTube land, and as you can see, they fold it up the back of the tripod, and you can just simply unscrew this little knob here on the side, tighten it again so that it's straight, and you have yourself a nice little desktop mic. I do like the little feet here. They are rubbery, so that kind of mitigates it from sliding and kind of dampens a little bit of the vibration. And you have yourself a cool shock mount here for also mitigating those vibrations. And who the hell is detected in my front door? Somebody's escaping or entering. All right, it's just someone dropping off a package. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see what we're getting for our hardcore 30 bucks cash. I don't expect superior audio 
quality, but I kind of don't expect trash quality either with it being 24 bit and a big diaphragm here. You will be surprised. I maybe I'll be surprised. Who knows? Maybe I'll just switch out this dynamic and just go condenser for the rest of my life, even when I'm 85. What the USB C connector is right there on the back of the device, so nice and low profile and hidden. So won't be in your face, it'll pretty much be out of the way, which is awesome sauce. So we'll just connect it to the back because what else are you gonna do? <laughs> How are you gonna use it? All right, Techers and Gamers, so this is the audio out of box. Now, I don't know what the quality is. I'll have to do some playback to see what it sounds like, but this is the quality at 100% gain volume up here on the top, maxed out, as well as on my computer, maxed out over this recording. And this is the condenser quality. Now, the good thing about these is that I don't have to lean over and talk. These are condenser. They pick up from a distance and with the relatively large diaphragm on this microphone, it will pick you up sitting back. You can be as comfortable as you like. One gripe I have already with it. It's not a big thing, but maybe it is. If you wanted to monitor yourself with this microphone, you can't monitor. There is no monitoring port on this. USB-C connection on the back, that's it. You cannot monitor with this device. So this is me now talking about, I don't know, a foot away from it. Doesn't look like it because of the perspective of the angle, perpendicular. What? Talking about one to two inches away from the mic like this. This is the audio quality. You're probably going to get some nice, rich audio. I don't know if it's getting any distortion since it's at 100% and I can see, oof, I'm clipping in the red. You get some pretty decent sound, I presume. I don't know, I'm gonna play it back and let you know. Microphone at 100%, sitting at about arm's length from the microphone, two to almost three feet away. Microphone check, one, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. I can't count higher than that. What does this quality sound like? It probably is good, because I see my levels going way up, but you're gonna get a little reverb, so that's expected unless your whole room is treated with furniture and cushions. All right, so plosives. I do have it quite maxed right here, so uh, we'll do plosives with it at 100%. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. We're gonna drop it a little bit, and we're gonna try plosives with it at about 50 percentile of the way. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher. Profusely. Properly. What? Pretty good job at mitigating plosives with this little windscreen. And it also has another mesh screen here on the front. So plosives shouldn't be an issue, especially if you're using it as a desktop mic and you're back like this. Another thing I'm liking about this microphone is that the hissing is not really noticeable. It does a good job at mitigating hissing. Caesar loves to eat his salads in solitude, but sometimes snakes slither in and Superman has to save him. That was actually pretty good for freestyling. I usually say some craziness, but that one makes sense. What? All right, Tech is a Gamer. So what do I think of this microphone overall? Well, I think from a hardware perspective, it has a lot of really good features, including being able to control the brightness of your RGB for all my RGB heads. I like RGB. So that is a great feature. Nine different modes of RGB. So a lot to play with, customize for your theme in your setting. It has gain control on the top, which is a dial, right? You spin the entire top of the microphone left to right to control your volume. And it's kind of good for keeping your microphone looking low profile without having knobs, right? Multiple knobs sometimes on the microphone. So it looks nice and clean. It's all plastic, pretty light. So that's kind of a good thing when your microphone is light like that. Plastic makes you feel a little bit on the cheaper side, but that doesn't really bother me too much. I've seen some plastic mics that sound fantastic. Has a nice shock mount, so shaking your desk seems to be okay. It doesn't really make too much noise. Banging it, of course, you're going to get a little something. So let's talk about the audio a little bit, right? So pop filtering was pretty good on his microphone. I 
was able to get it to do a little bit of distortion by using extreme examples of pulses but being close to this i was kind of expecting it with it being a 40 millimeter large diaphragm to really pick me up but didn't really have that big of a pickup from a distance and i'm wondering if it has to do with the built-in noise suppression feature right kind of mitigates a little bit of that noise in the background so it could possibly be cutting you down as well the audio quality itself is pretty good out of box i would say that it's probably lacking to the higher mid to high ranges and it doesn't have that open airy sound like some condensers can sound like as for example the mono pt200x has a nice open airy sound so because of that i feel like it's not as rich of, of fidelity rich fidelity is it could be as a condenser microphone so killing a little bit of lackluster on the high ends on the bass it does pretty good or uh, bass levels god i was trying to, not to burp but overall for 30 bucks for all the features you get it i think it's a pretty good deal and steal i don't see anyone using this for singing or anything like that probably not even for podcasting but for gamers and streamers it's an excellent choice especially if you are just getting started it's a go on the tech toys and gaming show so if you're interested in this of course as usual links are in the description thank you tone for providing this device to me to sample right this is my own honest review of it they have no input as to how i feel about it so yeah take it with a grain of salt a little dash of pepper maybe a little sasong who eats that what you spanish <laughs>